So what are the practical takeaways from this? How do we prevent microplastics from continuing to invade our lives, our bodies, our testicles, our, and our penises? A couple things to think of. Number one, minimize the amount of bottled water that you're drinking. There's data to support that 93% of bottled waters have some form of microplastics in them that can be consumed or ingested when drank. Number two, try to increase the amount of wild caught fish. If you are eating a lot of fish, try to focus on wild caught fish because these fish are less susceptible to have been eating a lot of the microplastics that are currently polluting our oceans. Number three, store food in glass or stainless steel. Try to minimize the amount of plastic that you're storing food in and in doing so, you could decrease the amount of microplastics that leach into that food. Number four, a HEPA filter air filter is quite important because what it helps do is it clears up a lot of the dust and a lot of the particles that carry microplastics that we're inhaling on a daily basis. So that really helps if you could have one at home on a daily basis, functioning, filtering out the air, that could really help decrease the amount of microplastics that we're inhaling. Number five, try to minimize the amount of synthetic fibers that you wear, because again, the synthetic fibers it could brush off or could leach out a little bit of microplastics that again, we ingest throughout the course of our day. And finally, antioxidant rich foods like leafy greens, fruits, omega-3s, all of these can help protect the cells of our bodies from the microplastics that are in our bloodstreams and protect those cells from further risking and further impact associated with the microplastics.